In the next few videos, we will talk about the live paint tools. Now, with the live paint method, you paint more like you would with a traditional coloring tool, without regard to layers or stack in order. All objects in a live paint group are treated as if uh, they are part of the same flat surface. Now, this means that you can draw several paths and then color separately each area enclosed by these paths. You can also assign different stroke colors and weights to portions of a path between intersections. Now, intersecting parts of fills are called faces and parts of strokes are called edges. And you can fill each face and stroke each edge with a different color. So once you've made a live paint group, each path remains fully editable. When you move or adjust a path shape, the colors that had been previously applied get automatically reapplied to the new shape. So that's all theory, but the best way to learn how to use the live painting in Illustrator is by practice. So let's practically understand the idea behind live painting. I got a set of paths with no fills, just strokes, that in a second will be turned into a yin-yang sign using the live paint method. To use it, first we need to select the objects, and then go to the object menu, live paint, and then make. Or we could use the Alter option plus Shift plus X shortcut. At first glance, not much happens. The paths look exactly the same as before, but we can notice that Illustrator has turned this set of paths into a live paint group in the upper left corner right here. So how can this all help us? Now, in order to paint over the live paint group faces and edges, we need to initialize the Paint Bucket tool, which sits right here along with the Shape Builder tool we talked about previously. Its shortcut is the letter K, and if you think you're going to be using this tool a lot, well, it's a good idea to memorize it. Now, with the tool selected, we can hover over the live paint group and notice that Illustrator is highlighting the faces within the group. It highlights the parts we can now assign the colors to. And did you notice that this uh, little color swatch preview we already saw when working with the Shape Builder tool? If we just press the arrow keys, we'll be able to select the colors we want. And just click to add that color. Now, if you're wondering if you can paint strokes with the live paint bucket, well, the answer is yes, but. I mean, in order to paint the strokes with the tool, you need to double click on its icon in the tools panel and select the paint strokes option. Now, when we hover over a stroke or an edge, technically speaking, the cursor changes into a brush symbol, which means that when we click right now, the stroke is going to change its color to the color we've selected in the swatch preview. Now, you might also be wondering if we can change the stroke width, not just the color. Well, yes, we can, but we have to use another tool for that, which we'll talk about in the next video.